In this video, I demonstrate how to calculate a break-even analysis using goal seek option in Microsoft Excel. Break-even point is the level of sales that causes profits equals to zero, which means break-even point or break-even uh, point in terms of units or sales is a zone where the firm makes no profit or no loss. In other words, revenues equal to variable cost and fixed cost. So we consider that cost only two costs, one is a variable cost and second one is a fixed cost. So we'll see how we calculate the break even point first, then how to use a goal seek option. Let us say for a given product which you are selling into the market, the selling price is 65 and the variable cost on this is 46 and the fixed cost is 10,000. Now to calculate the break even point, so break even point equals to in terms of units it is fixed cost divided by contribution per unit and contribution per unit is selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. So here we will consider is equals to our fixed cost divided by open a bracket your selling price minus a variable cost. So selling price minus variable cost per unit gives you contribution per unit. So it's a 526 units and to get a break even point in terms of a dollars this equals to break even point in units multiplied by selling price per unit. So break even point in dollars is 34,211. Now this is simple but when you have to calculate a desired profit or when you have to meet your expenses then uh, tax rates should be applicable. In such certain situations the simple calculation of a break even uh, will not help you. So what we do is we create a model in Excel so that we can experiment with the different calculations. So we will see now in a uh, Microsoft Excel using a goal set. So for now uh, we take a sample units of a 500 the variable cost or fixed cost or ex interest expenses is 5000 and applicable tax rate for this company let us say 40% is the tax rate. Now here we calculate the EBIT statement. So where is sales equals to number of that is sales in terms of a dollars. So this equals to sales in units multiplied by selling price per unit. So we have a sales here. Then a variable cost equals to number of units produced multiplied by variable cost per unit. And our fixed cost equals to fixed cost. Now we need to calculate the earnings before interest and tax. Earnings before interest and tax equals to sales minus variable cost and minus fixed cost. So this equals to sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost. So we have a negative EBIT. Then we have our interest expenses which are 5000. And earnings before tax is equals to earnings before interest and tax minus interest expenses. And tax amount is here to calculate the tax amount we use if function. So tax amount is equals to if our earnings before tax is greater than zero. If earnings before is zero, then tax is earnings before tax multiplied by tax rate. If it is not greater than zero or a negative, then our tax amount will be zero. And earnings after tax or profit after tax 
is equals to earnings for tax minus tax amount okay now this is how we can get the income statement now in our case to have a goal seek what we say is break even point is a no profit or no loss zone and where ebit equals to zero so here earnings before interest and tax is 500 so we should know by producing how many number of units we will make our ebit equals to zero that is our break even analysis so just uh, click the escape button to get a full menu of the excel so here we have excel now click on a data and go to what if analysis in what if analysis click goal seek now goal seek asking you to set select uh, set cell so our cell is ebit and set to value we are saying that break even point is where ebit equals to zero so we set it to zero and by changing cell so which cell we want your units to be sold units to be sold is one click okay so if you look at now your 526 is units to be sold and break even units is 526 what we calculated this is how we use a goal seek next suppose if we want to have a desired profit let us say our interest expenses are 5000 so we want to make a minimum of a 5000 so that our profit after tax or our, uh, we meet our interest expenses so click select the cell where uh, that is ebit and data analysis data what if analysis goal seek Here yes, set cell is E5 and set it to 5000 that is our desired profit minimum desired profit by changing cell it needs to be sold and then click OK. So to meet our interest expenses we need to sell 789 units. Now after 789 units you are making no profits right so after that is your after endings that is uh, endings after tax or PAT is zero now let us say from this venture we want to make a profit of 5000 that is profit after taxes as a 5000 then how many number of units to be sold so again what if analysis goal seek set this cell to 5000 and by changing cell number of units to be sold and click ok so to make a profit of a 5000 you have to sell 1228 units this is how we use the goal seek you want your break even sales is 526 this is intact but to make a profit of a 5000 from this that is profit after taxes then you need to sell a 1228 units Sometimes what happens is we have a constraint and number of units to be sold. So at any point of a time you can't make sales more than 1200 units. So in those situations you have to manipulate with your selling price. Okay, This is how we use the goal seek uh, option in Excel to calculate a break even analysis to have a di uh, different calculations to be done without making uh, without any hassles